Hey guys, it's Extreme Azure here, and today I'm bringing you a tutorial for Microsoft Windows. I'm going to show you how to turn your Windows 7 or Windows 8 laptop into a full wireless router. Yep, you heard right. Your Windows laptop can actually be turned into a virtual wireless router so that other Wi Fi devices, such as other laptops, tablets, smartphones, and video game consoles, may be able to connect to it. It's a really simple process to do this, and I'm going to show you a very easy, simple, free method. So, it only takes a little while to set up, so let's get started. Okay, so the first thing what you're going to do is open your internet browser, and you're going to want to nav navigate on Google and type in My Public Wi-Fi, and the Google search engine will automatically find it, and it will open up It'll show you many various links, but you're going to want to go to the first one that says MyPublicWiFi.com. It will take you to the main website of the program. As you can see right on the front page, it shows the free download. You go ahead and download that, and the setup file will be downloaded to your folder. Now, the system requirements are you, need, you either need to have Windows 7 or Windows 8 or Windows Server 2008 R2 edition. So this cannot be used on Windows XP or Windows Vista, unfortunately. Now, this does support 64-bit as well as 32-bit. As you can see by the chart, it shows you that it gets the internet connection through your computer, which then disperses that connection as a just like a Wi-Fi router does, so that other Wi-Fi clients can be able to connect to it. So it's a very handy little program to have, and I've already installed it. I'm going to go ahead and start it up. And this is what the program looks like. Now the GUI is rather simplistic to say the least. It isn't extravagant, but it really doesn't need to be because you're not going to be looking at this all the time. Now in order to set up your wife, your wireless, your wireless router, it's really simple. This is here. This will be the first, first thing that pops up says automatic hotspot configuration. First thing you're going to do is give it the network name, which is the SSID. I've already typed mine in, called Casa de Bahama. Then it's going to, then you're going to have to type in your network key, which must at least be eight characters. Now this can be any kind of password. It can be a mixture of numbers. It can be a mixture of letters. It can be a mixture of letters and numbers. It really doesn't matter. And this is case sensitive. So if you have a capital letter, then you're going to have to enter a capital letter when, on the other device when you're trying to connect to the router. Now, as you can see here, it says enable internet sharing, and I have that check marked because this is what allows your computer to then activate the sharing feature, which allows you to share your internet connection with other devices. Now you can either now you can pick this up from either your from various different sources, whether it be your wireless connection, your local area connection, or your or your Bluetooth connection if your computer is Bluetooth enabled. Now, I am just going to go ahead and plug in my Ethernet cable to the computer. It's located at the back. Alright. Plugged in. And it's best to use a LAN cable if you have one. If you don't have one, that's okay. You once again can use your wireless connection as well. But it's much better to use that one. Now, as you can see here, it says network configuration, please wait. And you can see the electrical socket. Once it's completed setting up, it will then show as if it were plugged in. There we go. And if I navigate down to my network tab, as you can see, it says here, Casa de Bahama, and under it, it shows that it does have internet access. That means that the network has been successfully created. Now, this process took me, of course, as you just saw, only a matter of minutes you're gonna have your virtual wireless router all set up and when you no longer want it you just simply click stop hotspot and then the hotspot will go ahead and cease and any devices that are currently connected to it will no longer be connected to it anymore now this is a very handy tool for if you're in your house and as you can see some of us has big, have big houses and the Wi-Fi connection wouldn't be able to travel throughout the entire house or it could be where even if your house isn't really that big there's a whole lot of interference because maybe the walls are made out of steel or maybe there's a lot of objects in your house so it's easy to lose the signal so let's say your wireless router is out in your living room and you're all the way down to your bedroom you can barely catch it 
Well, if you have your computer in your bedroom, which usually has a better Wi-Fi radio than, say, your tablet or your smartphone, and your computer can connect to the wireless router fine, or if you have an LAN cable in your room, you can go ahead and you have your computer. You simply start up the program, and it will feed off the connection that your computer is already getting, and then disperse it as, as a like an extension almost. So this is definitely a wonderful program to use if you're having Wi-Fi problems in your house. And let's say you're probably at a hotel and you're trying to get a connection right there in your hotel room for your wireless router, wireless devices to be able to connect to the internet better. You can go ahead and use it there too. So there's a lot of uses that you can use for this program and this is definitely a very new program. It's absolutely 100% free. You don't have to pay a cent on it. This program is totally free where there's no paid subscription or any foolishness like that. So I definitely recommend this to anyone who's having Wi-Fi issues and who really needs a second router but doesn't want to go ahead and pay for one. So I want to thank you guys for watching. I really hope this tutorial served you well. Have a great day. See you later.